The next thing I want to look at is the ability to programmatically uh, put lines. So for instance, if I wanted to do something like this and put a line around each range within this range of ranges and also to remove the borders. So that's what we're going to look at doing that inside of VBA. So here we're going to look at doing what we just just did there, selecting a range of ranges and then putting a border around each individual cell or each individual range inside of there. So I've created my sub. I have marked my range of ranges here. And I'm selecting the dot borders property. I'm using a with statement. So within that dot borders property, I'm going to modify the line style property and I'm going to set it to XL continuous. That puts a solid border around each cell. I can also use these others, dash, dash, dot, dash, dot, dot, or none. I can also modify the color property of the borders property. Um, here I'm going to set it to VB red. You can also use the RGB values. And the last thing I'm going to modify, the borders property, the weight property of the borders property, I'm going to set it to thin. It could be thick, hairline, medium as well. When I do this, it looks like this. I've selected my range of ranges from B1, uh, B2 to F8. and set the border properties. If I want to remove the border, I will select the range of ranges, the line style, I'll set it to XL line style none. And when I do this, it removes the borders. Another fairly common thing to do is put a border around a group of ranges like this. So not each individual cell, but around a group of cells. It's, a, it's the thicker border. So let's look at programmatically doing this. So here I'm specifying the group or the range of ranges. Border around. So not border. Border will do each individual range, but border around will border around this group of ranges. Line style continuous, thick, and black. So I can still modify those same properties, and I can still use these different types of line styles. I can use different colors, and I can use different weights if I chose. Border around gives me this. I can combine them together so I can put a border around and then I can have a border around each individual range in there. So this will be the thick black box that goes around and then this will be the red borders uh, on the inside. But if I look, I have a logic problem. So first it writes the black border all the way around and then it writes the thin red border around each range. And that thin red border is overriding the thick black on the edge here. So I just need to modify where this is located. Putting it down here at the bottom. So first let's do the red, then we'll do the thick black. And we'll get something that looks like this. Another very common thing to do is a double border that looks like this. Uh, if we're summing these or something, we could put the double border across the bottom. Um, if I want to programmatically do this in VBA, it looks like this. I select the ranges where I want that double bottom border, so B2 all the way down, B2 all the way to the right and all the way down. So essentially top left is here, bottom right is here. Borders, uh, I can specify which border. So here I'm doing XL edge bottom. I could do top, left, or right, but this is bottom. And the line style is a double, XL double. And when I run this, 
I get a nice double border across the bottom. So this is uh, taking a look at uh, using borders around a, each individual range, around a group of ranges, and then the double bottom border. Uh, and with those building blocks, you should be able to do uh, most anything you want to do, uh, most any common task you want to do with borders.